So like I mentioned in the last video, I've already got some tubing. So I've got some lengths of inch and a half tubing. Uh, the only thing about this tubing was that it was, the alloy on it is 6061 T4, which potentially could be very brittle and may not bend. I don't wanna bend it a whole lot, and I've already got one stuck in the bender over here. Uh, I don't wanna bend it a whole lot. Really, the only place I need to bend it is right here in the center of the trans tunnel. So, just kind of imagine it coming straight through here. And then right there where that tubing bends, I think I wanna put a little bend in it. Right there, I wanna put a little bend in it. Uh, just to kick it out around the bell housing. And then what I'll most likely do, if there's enough tubing, I might bend it back straight, but if there's not, chances are um, I'll use a coupler and then get some more tubing. And the idea is that I need to bring it up here and tie it in here on this side. Have it go right down through there and then it's got to tie in up here on that side. So, um, got some struggles ahead of me as far as making all that kind of route through there and it look good, but I think it's doable. All right, so that one worked too, 22 and a half degrees. So for anybody that's wanting to bend some aluminum tubing in a uh, JD squared, or this is the 105 HD style bender, basically the same, um, you can do at least 22 and a half degrees. Uh, you get a little kink in it, which is probably what saves the material, to be honest with you. And this is, just for reference, this is, let's see if we can get it. This is a uh, Alcoa 6061 T6. What well, says T700, I don't know if that's, I don't know what that is. Seamless inch and a half uh, 049 wall. So there you go, if you may, do a, may put this in like a little separate video, if you're looking to bend, if you have questions about bending aluminum tubing in a roll bar style bender, um, I will say you can get away with at least 22 and a half degrees. I would think you could probably keep going. I think what's happening is that this alloy is so strong that instead of cracking the outside of it, it actually just puts a wrinkle on the inside of it. Um, which for fluid transfer, for coolant transfer, I'm A-OK -okay with. Now, like I said, this I just bent it, so it hasn't been through a real, a real world test. Well, I, haven't, I haven't had coolant through it, I haven't, Put it through heat i haven't put it through pressure but just based on what i'm looking at it doesn't look like it's fatigued any on the outside it just looks like it just wrinkled it on the inside in order to accomplish that bend so 
There you go, for what it's worth. It is what it is now, I just gotta figure out how to fit it in this bad boy.